Altec Armor here and we're going to show you how to root an HTC One M8 from a fresh start. All right, finally. Oops, my stand. Blink feed. All right, I know all of this. Here it is. Here it is. Build number. And now I'm a developer. Go to developer options. Don't ask again. Now I'm going to go hit USB debugging. Sorry if you can't see that. USB debugging. Hit OK. Now you're set for the root process. Now you're just going to go plug it into your computer. See you there. Alright guys, now that you're back onto your computer, you're then going to go to our channel after you click the little icon button in the video you're watching. You're going to click Program Hack Cracks right here. Go click Android. Now you're going to click Root. And right here, you're just going to click this download button right here. Download it anyway and this is a raw file so I'm going to save it to my desktop and it's pretty big but you're going to need it either way you can delete it after you're done this all right so I think if they are installed if they're not I'm gonna pause the video and go install them but now you're gonna click there and launch one m8 and exe hopefully it's faster for you for right now it's lagging down here we go click run here it is and you can minimize that alright so first thing you want to do here it is it's already got it for me so I'm going to go ahead and download these yeah so you're going to click here I've done this before these are all safe leave me I know Otherwise, I wouldn't be trying to do this. I'm just trying to help you root your phone. So here it is. It's trying to download. Here we go.
you're just going to enter your first and last name, you know, country, whatever. Register with your email, and you must have a real email because you're going to have to sign in later, and you will see. I will sign in sometime. I'll pause the video so that way you don't actually. Alright, so now you're going to get get token ID. Now what's going to happen is your phone is going to flash. It's a white screen with a bunch of words on it. I'm just going to click go. And make and on your phone it'll have allow USB de debugging from this computer. Click OK. And yeah, I want that. Hit it again. And then your show, your phone should go black and then it should turn back on. Exit back out. And it's going to come up with these codes and you're just going to copy it like I do. All right, so here's your identifier token. So you're going to right click click mark and for some reason HCC sync is starting up alright now you're gonna hold control C to copy it so now we don't need this anymore and I really don't want this there either so now we're gonna go submit it now let me figure this out and I'll pause the video Alright, I think I've got it now. Never mind. Let me try that again. And this works for any HCC1 M8. Alright, now you're going to go to Unlock Bootloader. Click Get Click and paste it, or Control V, whatever works for you. Think. There we go. All right. So now you're gonna click Submit, and it's gonna go to the email that you signed up with. Oh yeah. See, token submit it successfully. Now I'm gonna go to my email, and I'm gonna go download it, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, guys. So here I am in my email. So I'm going to go click here. Where your boot, your boot unlock code is, unlock bin, whatever. After I hit this, so it is in my desktop. There it is. And then on your phone, it should come up with a black black background and it'll have a bunch of stuff that'll say unlock bootloader and you're going to click volume up volume up and it'll move up to yes unlock bootloader may avoid your warranty go ahead and click power the power button on the top 
I might as well just go back into my video mode and I'll show you what that looks like. So here I am again, this time not with the camera stand, sadly, but if I can focus, it's actually a blue, there it is, you can see it, and it says no, so this is what your screen actually should look like. So go ahead and click the volume button up, and there it is on yes, and click the power button, just like that. And your computer may beep and make noises, but don't worry about that. And your phone will restart several times. And look, here we are, and I'm back at my startup again. So I'm going to blaze through that, and I'm going to come back to y'all. So I'm back, and I finished that login again. And I'm going to go click, go back to my settings, and I'm going to show you guys something. already be on but yeah you want that checked off I had forgotten to remind that all right so okay I'm gonna go home and you're gonna check if it's already unlocked and if it worked by holding both the power down power down and power all right so all you have to do to boot into bootloader or boot into recovery you just have to go click boot into recovery and hit command. Okay. But yeah, that's how you're going to boot into recovery. And then at the top, you're going to see whether or not if it's unlocked. Or boot into bootloader, actually. That's going to show you if it's unlocked or not. Alright, make sure you still have your phone plugged in. And now we're going to go get your flash recovery. Now, I recommend uh, Team Win something, I don't know, just, let's just call it Twerp for now. And then there's Clockwork Mod. Twerp is much more easier to use. Clockwork Mod, you have to use the volume buttons to, you know, install your ROMs and manage your files and other things but twerp you get to actually touch it with this touch screen if you have sprint use the sprint one if you don't if you have att t-mobile whichever you need use the regular one i'm going to use twerp today so yeah you can also do your own recovery it's going to go hit flash recovery and my phone is already plugged in so yeah, we already have our USB debugging enabled. That is weird. I'll fix this. Okay, so finally I've gotten it to work. And what I did was I was on the... I was on my phone and it was on. And so I went and turned debugging off and then back on, kept it plugged into the computer the whole time and it fixed the problem. So now I'm going to go back to recording and I'm going to show you what to do from there.
actually no. Since you have it plugged in, go ahead and click boot into recovery, which is very So now that we're back onto the phone, this is what you're going to do from now, from here. You're going to click install. Scroll down to the bottom where you extracted it. And here's where it is. After it finishes rebooting, I'll show you what to do from there. So now, you have a new app. No, no. It's called... other apps for roots and you can just go and it'll show up on super su and that's what you get and that's what you how you allow the permissions such as like overclocking and other kind of stuff other stuff that messes with your hardware so yeah that's all you need to know about rooting the HTC one m8 you can customize ROMs and such. You can go download that anywhere. You can download it straight onto your phone. Just go into recovery, swipe it, and just remember it wipes your entire phone. So you may want to do a backup. So yeah, this is Baltic Armor. So go ahead and subscribe, like the video, comment if you need something.